it is that time for Mr. Tat, and that is my response to a tweet. That's my response to a tweet. And the question is, it says, with Boehner being gone, why, is it, why does it still seem like it's still a problem? With Boehner being gone, why does it still seem like it's still a problem? Wow. Well, here's my response. Have you ever been in a situation where you're choking? You just feel, you know, you got this thing, you're choking, and you're trying to get somebody's attention. And, and then when you got their attention, you're, you're choking, you're waving your arms, you're pointing to your throat, and it just seems like they're not listening to you. You know, they're not understanding what you're saying. You're saying, I'm choking. I'm choking. And then you're waving your arms and you're saying, please, somebody come help me. You know, you feel the oxygen being gone. You just feel it. And then when they come and respond, they ask you, what's the matter? And then you say, I'm choking. You know, you, you still try to let them know I'm choking. And then they finally hear what you're saying. And then they turn you around. You think you're about to get the Heimlich maneuver, get hit on the back or something. And then that person stops you and says, well, if I get what's in your throat out of your throat, somebody's just going to get it and put it right back in again. So what's the use of stopping you from choking? And then you're looking at them and you want to call them everything but a child of God. They res their response to you choking was, if I get what's in your throat out, Somebody's just going to put it right back in. So why help you? This is what I'm saying. With John Boehner being gone, you have to understand, the Republican Party are the ones that we're telling as Americans, definitely as conservatives. We're saying, man, we're choking over here. They're choking us to death. They're shoving health care down our throat. They're shoving this down our throat. They're shoving gay marriage down our throat. They're shoving Planned Parenthood down our throat. They're shoving these things down our throat. And we're choking over here. The American way, conservatism, the Constitution, we're struggling over here. We're choking. Can you guys... Get them to stop shoving stuff down our throat. First of all, can we get can we get the stuff that's being shoved down our throat out? We see this law about to be passed. We see what the president says they want to do. We see what these liberals want to do. And then we have a person like John McConnell. I mean, John Boehner and Mitch McConnell. Yes, yeah, John McConnell. I'll put them both together. What the heck? But we have these people saying it's no use in us stopping you from choking or taking this out of your throat because the president's going to veto and put it right back in your throat. So just deal with it. And so just deal with it. You know, there's no sense of us even putting it up for a vote because he's just going to veto it. So just deal with it. It's killing us. Can't you see how this is going to kill us? Yeah, I can see how it's going to kill you. If we stop them over here in the House, they're just going to let it go in the Senate. Because why? He said he's going to veto it. And so you're just going to, they're going to just stick it back in your throat anyway. So can't you see we're really working hard for you? And we're saying, can't you see that we're turning blue in the face? The liberal red blood flow, I mean the conservative red blood flow is what we have, but we're turning blue in the face. We're turning democratic, we're turning liberal, and it's choking the heck out of us. And then there's things in the Constitution that we have that can keep us from choking, and you don't even want to go into that first aid kit. You just tell us we're going to have to deal with it. This is why you still feel like there's a problem even though John Boehner is, is leaving. Because you still have Mitch McConnell. You still have the same Republicans that supported John Boehner. You still have them in place. You have a whole bunch of weak first responders that's just going to tell you the president's going to veto it anyway, so we're not going to stop you from choking. 
You're just going to have to choke. You're just going to have to hope that you're still around when this next election comes. And then we're still demonstrating that we're going to elect the same people that's letting us get choked to death now. We're still letting the media define our candidate. We're still voting personality versus principle. Principle is what keeps you from choking. Principle is what overturns the stuff that they shoved in your throat in the first place. The part that's so funny is that the liberals, I believe they're starting to see that they're choking themselves to death supporting these liberal policies. But us conservatives, we don't know how to go talk to the liberals. We don't know how to go let them know that can't you see that your own party is choking you to death. Because you have liberal elites and then you have actual liberal voters. See, right now we're dealing with our Republican elites. And there's a lot of them in the Congress and Senate. And those liberal elites, they're the minority, but they're still functioning like they control the agenda. How does that happen? Because our Republican elites are soft. They're soft. They're undercover cover Democrats. They like the power that the Democrats have amassed. And they're hoping and praying that they're going to be in control of that power. And then when that power's there, they're just going to say, well, the Democrats created it. So what? Stop them from choking America. No, because we want to be the ones to choke America. We want to be the ones. We want to be in power. And so, the answer to your question, there's still a problem because there's still choke artists there. The ones who want to choke us and the ones that can keep them from choking us. But the ones that can keep them from choking us they love the choking. They can't wait to get their hands around our throats. And conservatism and the Constitution, and this is that thing that's designed to do the Heimlich Maneuver on everybody in our country to get this stuff that's been shoved down our throats over the last eight years out and stay out. Hey, that's my response to a tweet on the Phil Williams Show. <laughs>